first meal of the trip. A delicious breakfast burrito and a Modelo Especial. The second time I can remember having had a beer before 8 a.m. Now we're in the airport in Seattle. What's this one called? Is this SeaTac? Yeah. Yeah, it's SeaTac. We shared the airplane on the way here with the, uh, the Los Angeles Aviators professional ultimate team. I did not know there was a professional league. Well, Frisbee is a trademarked term for a specific manufacturer of discs, so that's why they just call it Ultimate. But anyway, I didn't know they had a professional league now. Apparently they don't, it's not like a high dollar thing, obviously, but... So anyway, yeah, I did, had no idea there was a professional Ultimate League. I used to play in college. Uh, if you know anything about Ultimate, you've probably heard about the Black Tide. And I played on the Black Tide's B team, barely ever saw actual playtime, but... I am proud to say I was part of that organization for some amount of time, so that was exciting. But it, it may or may not be exciting to you, so I'm done with that topic. Lines! Oh my god! Lines! There it is. There's our big boat. Bigger than a building. Can't even fit on the camera screen. I'm not in the best mood after all we had to do to get to this point. But I'll take a video of it so I can feel better about it later. If you didn't know any better, you'd think we were in an actual hotel. But we're actually... Yeah, hotel. Well, yeah, the hallway's a little narrow and I don't actually have a lot of headspace. The top of my head is actually here. <laughs> so you can see it's a little... I have lots of tall guy problems. Busting out the drift for a little wide angle action. This is our little stateroom here. It's actually quite small. You can't even walk onto that side of the bed. The bed comes right up to the desk over here. I actually cannot fit on the toilet because my legs bang into the wall so I have to sit on it sideways. Cruise ships are uh, not made for tall people. View from the upper deck on the Norwegian Jewel, which will be setting sail in about two minutes from lovely Seattle, Washington. Dance party! Pool party! Barbecue party! Woo! That's it. We're going now. Here we are in one of the Norwegian Jewel's luxurious lounges. Honey. Honey. You know, I took a poop earlier, and pooping on a cruise ship is a, a new experience. You kind of feel the... The, the rolling of the ship on the waves while trying to poop. And not fitting on the toilet is also, you know, it just adds to the experience. <laughs> Dessert in high definition. <laughs> asking what cruise ship we were going on and I didn't know why. I figured it was because they just were curious because they go on cruises too. But it turns out those sneaky parents of mine called in and had them deliver us a fruit basket with a bottle of wine. Thanks mom and dad. Thanks. This is what we found waiting in our room when we came back from dinner. A little frog made out of a towel. Damn. Arg, I be finding I have no sea legs for a journey of this ilk. So here's where we started in Seattle. Here's where Grandma Mean happened. And here's where we are now. Our cruise's own little contribution to the global warming that's melting the glaciers we're going to see. Can you pick out the most intense officer on the ship? <laughs> 